I was hearing that um, Dak looks sharp. <clears throat> Dak looks sharp. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of our wins and losses, you know, they're going to depend on Dak carrying his guys. Right. And there's a lot of Cowboy fans, a lot of pessimistic Cowboy fans. Like, but Vach, when has Dak Prescott ever uplifted somebody and made them better? Guys like Randall Cobb, guys, guys like Dalton Schultz, guys like Cedric Wilson, all those dudes are regular talent dudes, especially at this point in their in their careers or whatever. Talking about Randall Cobb. These are regular dudes that we've seen Dak Prescott elevate. It could be an old Dez Bryant, whatever you want to look at. Because as soon as Dez left here, he ain't really do much more when he left here, right? So I feel like Dak is good enough to 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 um to make Jalen Tolbert better or to make James Washington better. Now James Washington looked he looked a little sluggish yesterday, but that's to be expected. He's been sitting down, he's had the little knee, he's had the little foot, he's getting over it, right? Jalen Tolbert looked impressive. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, and I can I can attribute Jalen Tolbert looking sharper than James Washington based on work with Dak. I think that means something, Will Still. And one of the clips I was gonna play for y'all, oh, no. um, they was talking about um well it well it actually actually two clips. Mike McCarthy, right? Mike McCarthy had a banger of a damn quote, Will Still. He say, defense wins championships, but you win a Super Bowl with the quarterback. <laughs> you got damn right. Mm. Defense wins championships, but you win the Super Bowl with the quarterback. Now, Will still, you know, I'm a real one, dog. I, I sat back and started thinking. I said, all right, let me think. And you could look back to this last Super Bowl and be like, but Vodge, Aaron Donald was the reason they won that Super Bowl. But if Jared Goff was the quarterback with the Rams that put – no. enough points on the board i do not think you know so you know um the the you know you look at the 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 buck super bowl right which was defensively led right james couldn't have done that james couldn't couldn't have won what needed to be won in that you know that moment in time pat mahomes pat mahomes played shitty the whole first half of his super bowl and if he would have kept playing that way, they'd have lost, regardless of what they did on defense. But Pat came back, you know what I mean? I went back to the Eagles. They played great defense, Will, still. Nick Foles is trash, but that motherfucker played good that game, didn't he? I mean, if it wasn't for the defense, they probably don't win the Super Bowl. The Brandon sure. Graham made the play of the, of the game. Sure. Play the game, Granted, then it was run game, like 80 points Nick right. Foles. If Nick Foles was trash, that don't happen. So that's facts. Mike McCarthy, shouts out to you, sir. Defense wins championships. Your quarterback wins the Super Bowl for you. I think that's fine. Not Amari Cooper going to win the Super Bowl for you, but the quarterback wins the Super Bowl for you. So in my mind, right, I think we're going to be a defensive-led team this year, Will Still, I don't think our offense is going to be trash. I just don't think the offense is going to be, you know, what it was the, you know, these last couple of years, though, which is fine because yeah. you can still be a, be a good offense. Them offenses were, like, ranked number one and three but it didn't give us the result that we wanted. You see what I'm saying? If we have a defense that's top five, and I'm only being hypothetical with our top five, right? If we have a defense that's top five, and let's just say the offense is like seventh, I think that's enough to get you to the tournament, play tough ball, and when you get to the tournament, do you have a quarterback that's adequate enough to win it for you? I think Dak is a dude that can do that. You know what I mean? So shouts out to Mike McCarthy with the banger. Um, Let's get into Twitter. Do we have uh, any of the... Tolbert catches or the James Washington catches will still let me, let's see what's going on with that show me show, show me either one of them. Pull, pull it up for me let me know what you got pulled up here well James Washington one was uh you're talking about the one where they tried to throw it to him it. and he missed it yeah and that one was looking clunky as hell <laughs> I don't think I uh I don't think I I sent it to you but I'm, but I'm hey look y'all nuanced cowboy fans y'all are nuanced cowboy fans y'all can go find it you know what I mean you know James Washington looked a little clunky Jalen Tolbert look right in the right place at the right time. I think that's that comes from working with Dak, which opens you up to the discussion, Will Steele. If you're not willing to get up at six in the morning to go to Dak House, you know what I mean? Is that is is that worth looking into, man? I want to say the two receivers that are having the best camp in terms of receiving right now are Jalen Tolbert and Dalton Schultz. And them motherfuckers stayed at Dak House. I think that's fair. I think that's worth noting, you know. 
So we'll see what happens with this whole. Uh, go ahead, Will. Yeah. Yes. Well, James injured his shoulder too um, on yeah. the, on yeah. one of the passes, so he was getting looked at. Uh, Mike McCarthy had an update and said that it was it was a ding, it was okay. So he's out there at practice today. Uh, but mm-hmm. yeah, he's he's not your typical looking wide receiver because he, he he plays bigger than he is, and yeah. he looks like a big receiver in a five foot ten body. <laughs> He looks a little stumpy, don't he? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just, yeah. uh, just a little stumpy. Now, Will, I sent you something last minute. It was like right when the show started. Go to that very last one I sent you. I'm not saying this this dude's going to be the savior, but he looked a little better. Oh, than, that's than, my guy right there. But he looked a little better than than James Washington physically, though, right? You know what I mean? He just looks a little better. Uh, Will, 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 what you think we're going to do about this whole TJ Basher thing? I hope it's late. I hope he continues to carry this momentum, brother, because, you know, there's two people that Dallas has on, on the offensive side of the ball in regards to receivers that aren't we're not talking about Lamb that you yeah. can't teach. Uh, the new receiver they signed, Turpin, has that sudden quick stop, you know, that, that explosiveness that just – his feet are ridiculous. He's tiny, though. Yeah. But you can't teach certain things. With yeah. Vasher, it is the catch radius. It's that height. It's that jump ball ability. Those are what I would consider specialty players. Doesn't mean yeah. they're primary weapons, but they're specialty players. So can Kellen Moore, if these guys make the team, can Kellen yeah. Moore get a specialty player involved in certain parts of the game? Because you can't teach six foot six, and that you just yeah. can't. I really didn't want to come on and talk about Turpin at all, but um, well, you know, he's talking pretty highly of him. They 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 were they were talking highly of Turpin, but mm-hmm. I'm not going to go and watch his USFL tape. You know what I mean? Like if he shows up in the in the preseason, we'll talk. You know yeah. what I mean? If yeah, he, that's fair. If he's if, if he's making some big plays at 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 practice, then we can show up and have a little have a little conversation about it. But till then, I'm not I'm not finna. <laughs>